Good morning. Hey. <laughs> I did it differently to throw you Good off. Good morning. Good morning. It's, it's still morning. We can still say that. We got it. Yes. So today is April 2nd, and we are going to talk. This is Design Tips and Giggles with Beth Ann and Pam. Man, we've been going a long time with this since, was it August? August, I think. It's been yeah. like, we're probably on like 44. I don't even, I, I'm not numbering them. I lost track at 10, I think. How many Tuesdays so. has it been? And I think we've only missed one or two. No. Okay, that is not. Google is failing me. <laughs> How many Tuesdays have there been since August? And it's like, as of August 8th, there is only one Tuesday on that date. Oh, it's the it's the AI. Thanks, AI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's so funny. So we've been going for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> it says August 1st is was 35 weeks ago. So we can we can safely guess we've had probably 30 episodes. Probably. Probably. Almost a whole I mean, year. I know I lost track of the yeah. team, so it's probably there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How many months ago was August? Eight months. Pam. She said almost a year, and I was like, oh, okay, crazy person. Eight <laughs> months is almost a year. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It, it's close. That's insane. It's wow. close. I know. I know. I'll allow it. I don't well, know. This, so this is it crazy. took us a while to get a little it, organized because we were like, Monday night, what are we going to talk about? But now, <laughs> now we have it down. Tuesday morning, what are we going to talk about? That? Oh, yeah. Then there yeah. was those days. And then we would get <laughs> on. And then we wouldn't even talk about what we were planning on talking about. So thanks for coming with this ride with us, guys. We are just having a good <laughs> so time. Fun. It's been so fun. It is. So, um, you know, trends is one of Beth Ann's favorite things to do. Um, so, well, she has that trendy Thursday every day. I do. It's every yeah. Thursday. And yeah. you know what we talk about? Trends. <laughs> so the first, th- first Tuesday of um, the <laughs> month, we talk about trends. Mm-hmm. Well, Beth talks about trends. I don't really talk about trends. <laughs> it's fun because you never know which personality Beth Ann shows up with. That's true. This morning started out, I was in a, I was in a poor mood until I saw Pam. And now I'm in a good mood. Here, I thought and you were going I'm in a snarky mood now. I know. A little sass <laughs> there. A little sass. But that's okay. Who doesn't like sass? Who doesn't like candy, you know? She would have been perfect for April, right after Easter. Oh, well. Oh, well. So anyway. All good. All good. Okay, so you want to start? Should we start? Do you want- uh, yeah. What do you want to talk about? Um. Okay, so it is... April 2nd. So we're past April Fool's Day. Um, some things going on in the TPT world right now are uh, the solar eclipse that happens on Monday. Um, spring break, like coming back from spring break. If you have anything you can make for that, like they have like coming back from spring break bingo or writing prompts or um, stuff like that. Um, another thing that sold like eight times this weekend was my end of year awards. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that because it's April, but next week, we only have like six weeks. I think um, my kids have soccer with uh, one of their old teachers and we were talking about it and there are like 39 days left of our school year. Like it is not much. So uh, we gotta, we gotta get, you know, get all those things in. So if you have gifts or anything that you want to buy your teachers by the end of the year, uh, do that now um, and end of the year stuff. So I think the certificates would do really well. We have that right. inside the membership. I can't remember if we have any other things, but that's what we saw. And Earth Day. Earth Day is on the 15th, right? I think. Yeah. Isn't and... Earth Day on the 20th? No, what is Earth? What is on the 20th? 
because there's always a holiday before my April daughter's 20th, birthday. April 20th, I'm pretty sure that is or not teachers pay teachers appropriate. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that was not the thing that I was thinking of. Girl, uh, Earth it's, it's day, day after. Oh my gosh, stop it. Earth Day. What You're going to be right. It's Earth Day. It's not telling you a date. April 22nd. How there we go. That? That's the, that's what I'm talking about. Earth Day, yeah, day after my daughter's birthday. Okay. There we go. Okay. Is it always the 22nd? Because I've always thought it was the 15th incorrectly. Every time, every time that I've thought it, I'm like, oh, that's not right. But every time my brain's like, definitely the 15th. No, I think, I think it's that's always been day. the 22nd. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah. What? yeah, they wouldn't put it on tax day. That'd be kind of rude. No, that would be rude. Because that would just ruin the whole thing, I think. Nobody would celebrate. No. Oh. Okay. Okay, we got that worked out. Sorry, we had to work through our brains. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you want to know why I don't like April 15th, aside from it being tax day? Because I'm ready to talk about my feelings now. Um, the worst days in history are April 15th. Did you know that? So, like, that awful things happen on the 14th, but then they don't, like, solidify until the four, the 15th. So, like, Abraham Lincoln was shot on April 14th, and he died on the 15th. The Titanic hit an iceberg on the 14th. It didn't sink until the 15th. Those are the um, extent of the bad things that I know about in history that are April 14th and 15th. But that's two for two. <laughs> I didn't know I was coming for the history lesson, but okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, so yeah, if you have about, any Titanic things, that would be a good time for it too, you know. April 4th. Well, another thing is my dad, we we celebrated his birthday for the whole time on April 18th, forever. Well, my whole life, and I'm like really old. And just <laughs> really recently old. he found out his birthday was the 15th of April. His mother uh, always, I guess, got the date wrong. That's hilariously terrible. Yeah. I love that. So, okay. That's Are we fun. ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> now that we know that Earth Day is the 22nd and yeah. that uh, the 14th is not actually the worst day. It's actually right. the first. The yeah, I know. I know, Gina. I it's, that. yeah. <laughs> That's the I question tried. we had as well. I try to forget that. She did day. have seven kids. Oh yes, no. but I know we. I would yeah. have to do math to figure out which one is which, because it's like if they were born on this day, that like all on the same like even years, but it's like which day were you born though? I know which year, and you should I never be. remember the time. Like my wow. son asked me what time. I was like, um, I was sedated, and. Um, out of it so I really don't remember that don't time know. I told well, him I don't take daughter. it personal because I don't remember anybody's time except oh. I don't even remember my own time so oh. don't take my it. daughter was 11 11 so it was very easy to remember that is very easy hers yeah but aside from that yeah no I don't remember anyone's and they all ask yeah. me and I'm like I have no idea okay good I thought I was a horrible mom thank no. you thank you for okay because I just got that question the other day. I felt real like, bad. I don't know. How would but, I know that? Well, I, I just said, go look at your birth certificate. It oh, will tell you. Good idea. Except yeah. I don't want them looking at their. Anyway. All right. So let's talk about trends. Let's okay. Talk. I can't keep them straight. So no when you were going through some things, I also thought of something that would be really cool would be like, you know, those I spy things the when you're in spring, well, spring break's over with. So I guess we can't do that. I always love making those little I spy um, worksheets for the kids when we go on road trips. Mm -hmm. Those oh, were fun. Yeah. Those were fun. Yeah. But I those guess could it wouldn't still be work for like summer, summer break. Yeah, yeah. You could be like, I don't know, road trip activities. Yeah. That's, I think that would be better on Google than it would be on TPT and definitely yeah. better on Etsy. Yeah. For sure. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Let's share. Let's share. I like when you share your screen. Share my screen. So we don't have to be like right here. Uh, oh, so there's 
thing is so bright. Okay. All right. We did make these things, didn't we? We were a little prepared. A little prepared. Yeah. So this, so this uh, I, I made this in January. Yeah. We made, we made some really cute things in January for the year. We did. All right. I remember so, too. April things are like Earth Day. Teach the teacher. That was on trends for April. Um, spring, because the first day of spring was last month, but spring, you can use that basically until the end of the year. Um, Easter Cinco de Mayo is the beginning of next month. Measurement seems to be um, a big one. If you are in probably like second grade and above. Um, and then Mother's Day is coming up. So like handprint oh, yes. art and stuff like that. Um, another thing is April Fool's Day and Earth Day. I feel like there's other holidays in April that I forgot here, but that's okay. Um, and then some ideas are like <laughs> butterfly life cycle, insects, bees, frogs, Earth Day, Easter, and April shower. So like anything <laughs> bug or flower related um, will do great this month. If you are like, I don't know what to make, do that. Because April showers bring me <laughs> flowers. Oh. I like that. <laughs> frogs. I like frogs. I like frogs. And then I also have this blog post, which has, let's see, Earth Day, which it even says here, I wrote this blog post not very long ago, and I knew it was April 22nd, but here we are. Okay. Um, Easter. Um egg things butterfly life cycle doing like a butterfly um uh like you know get some caterpillars and have them grow um garden and flowers um gardening the story of a seed those that one that's one of my favorite books because it has a little a little uh pack of flowers in it pack of seeds to plant oh that's nice i like that yeah the weather and rain cycle mindfulness is always good i feel like yeah um and then bubbles is also a good one and farm obviously farm because <laughs> you start to smell the farms in april you know so it's it's a good time to start talking about it but yeah so that's what i have for that and um we can also look at the trends yes uh, Easter i always love when you do this Yes, it's my favorite. Um, Easter, which obviously was last weekend, so it's okay if you do them now because they can do them in the classroom mm -hmm. now or before, or you could be paying yourself later. It's okay. And solar eclipse 2024. Um, so do you want to talk about it? Do you want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. I do want to talk okay. about it. So if you look at all of these. She, she came across something this morning that was pretty shocking. So she's yeah. going to explain this to us. Yeah. Okay. So all of these um, are at the top of the search engine because they have lots of sales right now and they have like massive amount of um, reviews, as you can see, uh, like this 8,000 reviews for um, a solar eclipse craft from 2024. So the odds are very, very, very slim that, you know, what, 20,000 people purchased this within the last week and left reviews. So uh, what I did was I started looking at the reviews and seeing um, like what other things they were or like why things are, I don't know, like I just, I had feelings. So actually I looked at this one, which was, it has uh, 2.9 thousand reviews. And it's, it's, it's very clearly made this year because look at how like, oh yeah, you very much that. Uh, AI this is, which is fine. I have nothing right. against AI, right. uh, but like, it's very clearly made in like mid journey. It's got the mid journey look. Uh, so this was made this year. There's no way that they got, you know, like what, 10,000 people who purchased it. And that's like a very low number. Um, there's not that many people searching for sol solar eclipse this year for this it's just not but if you look at like some of the reviews they're like um this incredibly user-friendly um or this is incredibly user-friendly making it a breeze to customize and share important information with students and parents during open house or back to school night 
It covers all the essentials and more from class schedules and contact information to classroom policies and expectations. Yes, because we all talk like that. Well, that <laughs> and what does open house and back to school night have to do with the solar eclipse? So basically what they, what they did is they just redid the product. They just took the product and I mean, you can do it on, on your own as well. Like you could do this if you want to be a scuzzy person, I don't recommend it, but you can like quick edit or not quick edit. You would actually full edit and you can change everything about this and then, ah. just, and then just, just. So then the reviews stay the with it. So, yes. so basically there, all these reviews is from other products, but when they updated this product for the solar 2024, those reviews stay with it. That's rude. That is rude. That is rude. Yeah. So um, a few things that I noticed about this was like the description says that, um, uh, well, I mean, they have the saying of right here, like solar eclipse, April 8th, but then it also says things like it also includes forms, oh, yeah. classroom decorations, and editable template for a successful open house, meet the teacher and or curriculum night. That's not rainbow what that is. Farmhouse style, styles. Like, they just include all these extra things. Um, and then, like, change the name and everything. So, like, everything that you purchased is still included, I guess. Um, but then they change it to something new. Um, but like some of these are like, um, uh, it's not necessarily like a bundle, like those bundles that you talk about how they grow. It's not right. like one of those. No, shoot. They're just taking it and they're removing everything about it and adding something new, but keeping, they're keeping their reviews. Kind of so shady. It's very shady and it's kind of scuzzy. I don't like it. Like, this is a, such a cute addition to our Valentine's Day bulletin board. Great resource for Valentine's Day. It's like, um, this <laughs> is a solar eclipse. And so I got to thinking, I was like, that's insane, right? But then if you go <laughs> look at all of them are doing it, there's no way any of these, any of these could have possibly gotten that many reviews without cheating the system. So I don't. I don't like that. So do you think teachers pay teachers will catch on to this and, or they don't care because they're making money? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I wonder if this is something that happens a lot in regards to like different um, holidays, stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it does yeah. tell you when you have like a, a product. Uh huh. Um, oh yeah. When it gets updated and stuff. Well, that, and, um, when you are making a product and you're like, this is yeah. Lynn, don't go. You don't have time for this. No, no. Like if no you're time. like, um, solar eclipse, maybe no. Okay. Um, Valentine's there we go. Okay. So it says like, Help us create the best search experience by only naming a holiday or season in your product titles when the resource is specific to that holiday or season. If your resource covers multiple holidays, we recommend using the appropriate subject tags and keywords in your description. Hmm. But then people are doing this. So there's some that like make sense. Like this is like a solar system thing. Like that's cool. You can add things like I'm sure they have it in the in the name like yeah solar eclipse 2024 that's fine I think if you like that's normal you should add different keywords to your when they make sense when they make sense you should not I just like just, anyone who buys that product would have access to it so if you're changing it every season you're missing out on people buying it for the first time. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's mm -hmm. that and then there's also like the scuzzy icky feeling yeah <laughs> well, know? Uh, speaking but, of the solar eclipse is it too late to put up absolutely not there you go absolutely Berlin. not there you go I didn't see that question well I didn't look at anything but no it is definitely not 
it kind of makes me want to go down a rabbit hole that I don't have time for. Yeah. So that's what I did this morning is I looked at all these things and I was like, oh, the audacity <laughs> pretty much all morning. Uh, but like this one is probably the same one. Like there's some that like they make sense. Like this is this is for the year, I imagine. Yeah, so this is probably something that um, has a whole bunch of different seasonal things like St. Patrick's Day and everything. So they just named it Solar Eclipse, even though it's like a like a whole year thing. Okay, they probably just added the, for this time period, just added the solar yeah. eclipse to get the traffic. Yeah. Okay. Which, yeah, so see this, like, so they, I've turned it into a seasonal bundle, which means that you have, like, Constitution Day, weather, okay, all these things for all these different holidays. And that seems, you know, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just two pages, though. You know, like, so it's a two-page thing. It's $6. I mean, if you... I don't like it. I don't like it, but you know, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> That's my feeling. Guess I what, guys? She does not like I do it. Not like it. But All like, right. Well, then let's look everything? at some other trends. Then. Do people do that for everything? They must. Now, like this is like bursting my bubble. Like you know, ugh. like this Easter one. Bunny house for sale. How cute is that? Where is that? Oh, house for sale. Oh, see, this person was also on the top of, um, we were looking at them for the uh, solar eclipse. They had something for that too. But this one, like you can make something for Easter and year over year, you know, like this would be something right. that's not, you don't have to redo this every year because it's just it's so adorable. That's an adorable <laughs> idea. And then they have standards and all that good stuff. Interesting. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> this feedback was left in 23 or 2013. That's fun. So yeah, I'm, this is what I do. This is what I do and I shouldn't do it. You know, I could, I could make so much more money if I just like did work instead of like, look at things and be like, I cannot believe that they did that. You know, like. <laughs> I could be a bajillionaire by now. <laughs> I feel like so, they are cheating because they rank the top. See, that's how it feels to me too. But I mean, if I yeah. had, if I had fifteen thousand reviews on something, would I be tempted to do that? Maybe, but also, do I have morals? Yes. So I don't think I would. Um, but like taking a product that's like a completely different product, like it just seems so wrong. Like, I guess that's their business plan. Ugh, just gives me the ickies. Oh, did we want to look at other trends that aren't just me being upset? <sighs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I'll. It's okay. I, you know, it does that. So on Teacher Pay Teacher right now, you, you walked us through some great, um, what would be some, Okay, sorry, something just said. What you walked us through so far mm -hmm. is awesome. So don't think you threw us off because you didn't. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. So <laughs> let's look at some other things. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about um, maybe some printable ideas as well in regards to like maybe Etsy or something. Okay. All right. So there's also spring things. Spring yes. break things. I like that too. So if you type in spring break, there's usually like some things like a spring break packet, packet, or like returning or like back. Welcome back. Back from spring break activities. These are things that you could do like right now that would work for um, a lot of people are on spring break right now or just getting back from spring break so if you did something that's like back to school after spring break i don't know what you would do um maybe well let's like look bingo or look this person oh no that's different they just had the same blue <laughs> yep yeah i was like the audacity <laughs> it's going after the people uh, welcome back from break ultimate bundle that looks fun it only has one review though 
which is interesting. I guess this this is one that you could make today and end up on the first page. Oh, huh, so okay. We'll all know because there's no reviews on a lot of these. So if you make back from spring break activities, and this one is like, oh, it includes 10 products. That's fun. So like, oops, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So this is like, think about your winter break. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, this is winter <laughs> break. Okay, this is winter break. It's okay. Welcome back from break ultimate bundle. So it's spring and winter break. Okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> um, winter break by the numbers. Think about each number. How do they represent your winter break? Write about it in the lines below. Pick four numbers that represent something about your winter break. Interesting. Okay. And then this one. It's like drawing. So like basically you're just giving them prompts is what this yep. thing is doing. So like this one could probably be like, what did I do these days? And like, what goals do I have? Um, two truths and a lie. That's fun. So this would take you like 20 minutes to make, you know, you just have like different uh, prompts, different ideas. This is something you can ask Chatty, like go to chat GPT and be like, I want to create a back from spring break activity pack for um, first grade. What are activities I should include? And then you just make it. You just make whatever Chatty tells you to make. Right. For older grades, you can write, you can do a spring break recap writing assignment. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and does me good hearing you. Currently, my street is flooded with sewage from all the rain. Oh, my gosh. We have not gotten that much rain. But soccer was canceled today, and I did not like that. So <laughs> that's the uh, extent of my experience with rain today. So you can do a mini vocab book with words like blossom, rain, caterpillars. That's fun. A nature walk scavenger hunt um oh this it says um reading comprehension i think we have a um a summer reading um something or other in the membership that you guys could use it's like hold on Canva. summer reading projects uh, i don't know where it is but Oh, here we go. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So something like this you could make for spring break. And look at that. Same thing. It's the Those same look thing. Yeah. You just do like reading log. And these. What, what I love about these is that like you can just take the idea and use it for anything. Like the summer reading bingo or the and reading this log. Like you could do that for winter break. This is the summer reading log. This would be in, um, I think it's at the very bottom of the templates. Hold on. I'll, okay. I will find it and I'll tell you. Hold on. All right. I have to log in. And I don't want you guys to. So I have, so when you open that, I saw there's tables. And let me tell you, I'm a little obsessed with the tables in Canva now. Yeah? Yeah. I just, yeah. I needed to let go because I kept making things and I'm like, yeah, after calm it down, self, calm it down. I know, I know. It was like, Pam, what are you gonna do with all this? What you gonna do? Nothing. It's all the way here. Okay, only. there we go. But I'm pretty sure it's someplace else there. Summer reading log. Yeah, it's here too. But I don't know that it's actually the correct Canva template. Let's find out. I've been like. No, nope, that one will work. Okay. That one will work. See, so, yeah. you were all on it. I did You're, it. It. You're cool. Yeah. All you right. did it. <laughs> so we you have should that. Take, you should take this info that you just got and put it in the group, though. Yeah. Just for an ideas. That's a good idea. All right. I'll put it over here. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So there's stuff like that that you could do. And I... I definitely think that you guys should all make a summer, I'm sorry, spring break, back from spring break activities, um, like today. Are you make challenging this? Yeah. 
it it is a Canva one, but it's also a PowerPoint one because I, you know, Mama likes the PowerPoint, you know. All right, so <laughs> I heard the uh, challenge. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it is a challenge to make a welcome back. I'm sorry, back from spring break activities. And you can even say welcome back from spring break. That's fine too. Uh, make that. There's only, there's a few hundred people. And like the first page, there are people who don't have any reviews at all. So you can okay. get on that first page like today. Shoot for like, like five pages. Just five okay. pages. That's all you five need. Page. Yeah. Make like okay. a make like a, a, a writing prompt or like a, like a puzzle. Like there's so many different, just, just do that. Just, just do that. It's a good one. All right. Okay. Um, what else do we talk? We talked about butterflies, butterfly life cycle, something like that. Let me see. So there's like cut and paste products, crafts, writing books, like, I feel like if you have a butterfly life cycle uh, clip art, you can do anything with this. My reading log link is broken. Darn. Okay. Which one? <laughs> the, re the reading rainbow. Um, which link is broken? Let me see what I can do. Oh, there. Yeah. Is it the... Hold on. We'll open that again. This is what I've had to do to fix. I've had to fix every single one of these, annoyingly. No, oh, see, it, it says it. It's a, it's a Canva link. Sometimes it's like, we're not a Canva link today. Link. Remove link. And then paste link. Sorry. There we go. Your new window. Save. I clicked it. The one you just showed it, it was just a template. Oh, okay. The one that's just a template. Okay, we can fix that too. Ready? I'm going to fix it right here in front of you. Okay. Canva template. I want to see what it does. That's weird. That it doesn't work. But I will link it for you. Paste. New window. Save save. That should work. And if that doesn't work, you should use the PowerPoint because <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> going to work too. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was like, how did we get back here? All right. Are Earth Day things popular? If so, what kind? Let's look. Earth Day. Oh, you could make a bulletin board. That'd be fun. Um, they have activities. So, okay. So whenever there's like any holiday or theme, like you can bet that activities, crafts, <laughs> bulletin board and writing and uh, like math activities are always going to be trending or like word search. You could probably type in W and it'll say word search. Yeah. Always going to be there. Ooh, look, write the room. Oh, we could do a write the room. That was my favorite thing. Let's see. Um, you could maybe get on the front page. Of the Earth Day? Of Earth, Earth Day, right? The room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, Earth Day, let's look up Earth Day activities. So this person's always there. Um, but let's see. So there's things like this emograph, which that's something you can use the puzzle maker to create. And you know what? I'm going to write that down because I know as soon as I said that out loud, I was like, I know that we wanted to talk about how to use that um, puzzle maker on um, Canva, not Canva. Mm -mm. I was like, huh? On uh, PowerPoint. So yeah. I'm going to write down. Uh, a gamma graph a, and and future Beth is gonna be like what the f is this so a gam o graph with puzzle maker maybe we'll make a um a trendy for that 
Um, but yeah, look at all these Earth Day things. So that one is like a, I don't, I don't even know. Some of these are reading activities. Um, my my Earth Day things never seem to sell on TBT. They do on Etsy a bit, but like flip flip books, those would be fun. Just I wonder if anybody ever finds it ironic that Earth Day things are like printables that you just used once, throw away. Like, does anybody think that's ironic? No, just me. Okay. <laughs> I caught that paper throw away. <laughs> Took me a bit, but I was like, what's she saying? Earth Day. Okay, I get it. Earth Day. Okay. 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 Uh, crew activities. You could do like um, handprint arts. That'd be fun if you did like you put the earth down and then you're like, just take your little. Oh. Um, oh, those are kind of cute, the little junk bots. Oh, junk bots. Oh, that is really cute. Look at that. Right? And that feels better as an Earth Day product. Does it, does, would that make you feel better? Yeah. Okay. See, this would work for, um, we kind of talked about it earlier. Not, um, and in my in my Facebook group, people were like, someone asked about using um, actual images instead oh, of uh -huh. mockups. And I personally feel that um, a good mockup is really all you need. Uh, but something like this, where it's like a, you have to you have to have the image. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um, I agree. Those are then, cute. But then if we go back to like page one of this. Or page like super early there we go um i guess that's a picture but like these are these are mock-ups for sure these are mock-ups most of these are mock-ups and they do great people just want to see what's included in the product they don't really yeah. care how it's how realistic it looks those are cute mock-ups now for uh actual like crafts it's a good idea to show what they're supposed yeah, to look like. Yeah, there we go. Idea. Or like this, something that wouldn't make sense to just show. Um, also like um, uh, uh, bulletin boards. So we, we talk about bulletin boards quite a bit in the membership. Let's see, bulletin board. Oh, can I ask? I saw someone say that mockups are no longer allowed on Etsy. Is that the case? That would be insane if mock-ups were no longer allowed on Etsy. I now I know they that... changed the size several months back, but mock-up? Oh my god, that'd be horrible. I'm gonna look into this and I will let you know, but I cannot for the life of me imagine. I haven't, it doesn't look like they have anything new. Unless it's here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is not advertising though. Yeah. Hmm. No. No, I don't. I don't think that's factual. Um. Yeah, use just the images and of the product instead of like the actual product. That's what. I mean, it'd be cool. I, you know, for like, um, for like crafts, you kind of have to print it off or something that you like. Like, like we were talking about bulletin boards. Um, you kind of have to show what it looks like on a bulletin board or else it doesn't really make sense because a lot of these like you cut them out like something like this you cut it out so like it just makes sense to and even then like to show it cut out and like what it's supposed to, like the end result you know um, oh click the preview to see more I love those I love calls to action yes tell me what to do 
Um, yeah, and then it shows you what all is included. That's really cute. I like that. Option three. That's cute. Except she's showing you literally every single page that's included, which is so <laughs> I would not do that. <laughs> um, you know, but like some of them, like you don't really, you could do like this. This looks like a mock-up to me. I don't think that this is actually printed. <laughs> I think it's just oh. made to look pretty. Um, and you could do that. And no one else. I mean, people are still buying it. It's still getting ratings. So, I, eh, eh. see, this bugs me. My students enjoyed this product and I would recommend it. Three stars. Like, why you got to hurt me like that? <laughs> why you got to do that? Uh, but anyway, yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm just chit chatting now. <laughs> we love when you chit chat. I know, you know, I know. I know. We do. Uh, okay, do I, so do I look tanner now. I um I got a really nice sunburn this weekend. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Yes. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Yes, you have a glow to you. <laughs> glow to me. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank of you. course. Thank you. Of course, of course. Okay, so um, while she was in there, she did give us um, a challenge to put up what? What'd you tell us to do? Back from spring break activities. Because <laughs> I left it up over here because I was like, there's no stinking way I'm going to remember that. Put up back um, I'm going to write it down so that I can remember to write it in my group. <laughs> Man. All right. I'll write it down. Activities. And can I also make a suggestion to everyone here? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Just, says I can't. just go. Just go. Do it. Say it. That's good. No, I don't want to now. No, oh my gosh. I'm just going to keep it to myself. It's fine. You are. Okay. So <laughs> add the word activity to everything if it can possibly be an activity. So, like math centers, say it's a math centers activity. Bookmark, bookmark activity. <laughs> Reading activity. Like, try to find a way to add activities into every single one of your products and for some reason people buy them when it says activity I don't know the reason I cannot tell you but I can tell you that every time I've had activity it's worked out very well in my favor maybe I should add that to my end of year gift certificates be like graduation activity <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do that don't be you, don't be scuzzy you, don't be huh? scuzzy don't be scuzzy Oh, oh yeah, no. But you have noticed that yes. that brings in a little bit more traffic or yeah. okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So there you go. You got a little tip there, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Add activity. Add activities. If it makes sense, don't be like yes. Don't be scuzzy. Don't be scuzzy. Like if it's a bulletin board, it wouldn't make sense to say bulletin board activity. Like, no. I guess that you could probably make that make sense. But you would rather write something like writing activity for, you know, groovy boho bulletin board or whatever, Easter bulletin board um, writing activity. That would be working. But okay. to say bulletin board activity would make you sound not okay. Don't do that. And you want to fill up as much of your title as you can without being scuzzy. Don't be scuzzy. That's the, that's the moral of this video, Pam. Scuzzy. Don't, don't be, be scuzzy. scuzzy yeah okay all right um try to add as many words in so like that makes sense so like the the back from spring break activities that we were talking about so you uh -huh. can say something like um like welcome back from spring break activities like writing prompts or um a first day after first day back from spring break activities bundle for April or something, you know, like, like right. just try to 
like make it so that you can say it out loud without it being like what okay <laughs> Makes sense. Does that make sense. Makes sense. Like makes instead sense. of being like back from spring break activities, activities for spring break, break, spring break activity. Like don't do that. Don't just stuff as many keywords in. I was gonna say uh, a little stuffy there, isn't it? A little steppy. I love when I see keyword stuffing in the wild because I'm like, see, Brandon, this is it. This is keyword stuffing. He's like, okay, no, but you know. And he's yeah. like, hmm, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so don't be scuzzy and uh don't be keyword uh stuffy. stuffy. There don't we be go. Scuzzy or stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll try not to be. <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs> friends don't let friends be scuzzy or stuffy. I don't know. I don't know. Some friends do. (laughs) Just kidding. kidding. Would you suggest we edit the title listing to add activity if it fits our existing products already listed? Yes. There we go. See, I, Gina, I was thinking the same thing in my head. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe we should, maybe I should ask her if we go back and can yeah. change some of our headings. Yeah. Did you know that like you could just you could just do that? You could just change your title whenever you well, want. Well, obviously you can you, you showed us today some scuzzy people who did it, but no. I mean don't we do it scuzzy, for a good reason. Scuzzy or stuffy. But like every year. So like what about bingo sets? Oh yeah, that would work. Okay, so hold on, let me let me right. Yeah, Gina, don't know. Okay, this is scary. Is there anything like that? <laughs> All right, so if we go bingo, oh, hello, I'm not sharing. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Put you over here. Oh, gosh. Okay, so my screen here is taller than my screen over there. So every time I do like the whole screen of this, then it doesn't fit over here because this screen is ever so slightly taller. Man, I wish I had those problems. Such a good problem to have. I love it so much. Okay. All right, so let's pretend, let's do a spring bingo. Yes, spring bingo dauber printable. So that's something you could do, uh, spring bingo dauber printables. Because, oh, no, don't, no, 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 I'm sorry. That would not work for bingo because I didn't even think about this. Those are for like the, like the thing that we showed you. Oh, the bingo daubers. There we go. bingo daubers. Yes. That's That's not necessarily bingo. I love that. They're so cute, though. They are. But I'm also concerned because, like, who is this person? Because that's a lot to have on the front page. But I guess if that's, like, all you do, all right, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'm just He's honest. coming after people today, I'm like, she? I'm upset about scuzzy people. <laughs> all right, so Careful. let's do bingo. You were saying zoo? Okay, so what I would do is I would say uh, bingo, and I would say zoo, and then maybe would it make sense if you had other zoo things, like zoo, uh, you could say like a zoo field trip activity if it's something that you wanted to put with a field trip, like I would add more to it besides just bingo if I did that, like I would have like a, how about uh, matching or something. Yeah. See, uh, writing. There. Yeah. Search. Um, <laughs> our control words that has nothing to do with zoos. Zoo theme. So you could do zoo theme. Bingo. That's an idea. Um, I guess for like an activity, a bingo activity. Let's see what happens if we type in bingo activity. Does not work. (laughs) All right. So let's just, let's look at what other people have done with bingo. Um, So there's no, well, and then we just go right here. We go control F (laughs) and then we look up activity. So they put it in the types down here. Okay. 
Okay. So like Christmas party activities. That makes sense. Yeah. For Christmas bingo. Um, bingo, bingo. Uh, vocabulary activity. That's a word you could use. Um, if it's like, like, so I would say Zoom. I'm sorry, Zoo. Sorry. COVID. I was happened, like, what? <laughs> and it never left me. Um, so you could do like a Zoo bingo um vocabulary activity you could do something like that if you have the words underneath um end of year activity you could say it's an end of year activity if it's something that makes sense uh like this makes sense it's a summer bingo i don't know that i would do that with zoo but maybe like an end of year party activity and then have zoo bingo and then have them be like different things oh i have zoo ride the room zoo animal bingo zoo lacing cards and zoo scavenger hunts so bundle that all together and call that a zoo field trip activity bundle boom and then make a bajillion dollars okay there you go. good idea <laughs> Thank God. uh but most of these for activities it's like party activities party like yeah valentine's day party activities winter activities place value bingo game activity yeah so i mean all it, right it could work it could work all right I'm, well we're, I'm a... we're going on eight o'clock ah! well and i need to go bird 11 o'clock I, huh? I need to go oh. bird watching pam oh yeah oh <laughs> sorry. take it down a level jeez <laughs> real aggressive today i really should have wore my candy the candy hair because I'm just I'm so I'm like going bird hunting candy. will help it will help it, it will. will it will and just any yeah. amount of time I spend at Target will help okay so currently it hold on hold on hold on we have a question all right currently in bingo I have zoo oh why is this not zoo bingo bingo cards 30 cards there bingo markers and memory game so should she change the title? Is that your title? <laughs> bingo? You don't have bingo in it that many times. No, you don't. No, you don't. Lady. No, you don't. You need to look at it to make sure because I don't believe you. that you. Have and then Marilyn bingo, also. Bingo. No, she oh, said okay. no. no. <laughs> she says no. Okay, good. Because I'm like, girl, <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> she was like, ah. And then Marilyn said it's also oh, poetry night or poetry month. Okay. So you have zoo animal bingo cards, 30 cards, bingo markers, and memory game. Okay. So I would probably. Um, okay. Let me, let me zoo animal. Yeah. Yeah, I pulled it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, zoo, animal, bingo cards. Um, what did we talk about? We talked about. Um, so zoo animal, bingo cards for. Um, like a. Zoo field trip activities and memory game. You could do something like that. It's not too stuffy, and you can like say it out loud, and it kind of makes sense. If you think that it would make sense, yeah. I mean, that would work. Say that. Oh no, I I typed it out for you. Zoo animal <laughs> game activity. Zoo animal bingo cards. Well, okay, hold on. Let me actually come over here and look at zoo. Animals. I would definitely put zoo animals. Bingo. Let's see that. Hmm. 
That's odd that you're not on the page for zoo animals, bingo. I would think you would be. <laughs> Jean goes, now I want to <laughs> do great zoo stuff. I, I love zoo stuff. I love, oh, and farm. <laughs> farm is another one that I'm, I just, I don't know why. I just can't, I can't, stop. And, and pirates. I love pirates too. Um, yeah. So you're on page two for that. So yeah, I would start with, did you, did you copy what I, I gave you? Isn't talk like a pirate day coming up? Technically, technically it's always coming up because it's once a year, right? So, huh? 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 <laughs> Eliza, did you, did you, get, okay, okay. I was going to say, I can, I can message it to you if you didn't grab it. Uh, but yeah. Um, okay. I have Graham, Ocean, and Pirate. Uh, farm, then bundle it with your farm classroom decor. You could just repost it. Nice. Okay. So we'll see in probably 20 minutes <laughs> if you're, you're on the, on the front page. I'll keep an eye. I'll have this open and then I'll look at it again. Okay. See what animals think up. Okay. Yeah. Cause I think they change it pretty frequently. Okay. Uh, yes. Talk like a bingo. Talk like, talk like a bingo <laughs> is on September 19th. <laughs> That's true. I knew it was in September. I just didn't remember which day. Yes. Ocean and pirate. I need to make more bingo cards like Easter. I need to do it. I need to do more Easter products. I know Easter already happened, but that's what I need to do. Like I have to do a Easter product. Mm, that's a good idea. Let's get it. I love creating bingo cards. Me too. It's my favorite thing. I, I've been <laughs> using it as like a, like a, a gift to myself. It's like, if I finish this, then I can do bingo cards. And then I get to the place where it's like, well, I don't deserve to make bingo cards because I never finished the thing. And now I'm not making bingo cards, even though I love making bingo cards. Cause I'm like, well, I'm not finishing my things that I need to finish. So I'm, uh, we so really beat ourselves up. I, know. I feel like we really do accomplish a lot, but it's the most important things that we don't accomplish. Mm -hmm. Cause I do the same thing. Like I, uh, I like to play with mid journey and, and, right. and create art. And, uh, I do that too, Beth. I, I'll be like, I can't do that until I get all this 2,500 stuff done. <laughs> and then I beat myself up because I don't, I didn't do like, I did five of things, but then I didn't do the other 2000 so mm -hmm. then i beat myself up so then it's yeah. like i don't even deserve it. i don't deserve it i don't deserve <laughs> to go and have fun for five minutes not at all so we need we to stop doing that, that. We, should, we do I, we I, do I, i'm pretty sure that's unhealthy yeah yeah really yeah yeah oh yeah probably yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go i just got my oldest daughter to sign up okay 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 yeah so you like it. doing that. They're so fun. I love bingo cards so much. If yeah. I could just make bingo cards and not have to list and them, and not you have to use do that else. uh the bingo thing that from the the yes. bear guy. The bear see, would see how I do this. You know, that's how I remember stuff. It's weird. The rawr guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, Fairwood Labs. Yes, there we go. Bear guy. <laughs> yes. You know, it's funny because um, I think I bought that. But you don't I use PowerPoint. I don't use PowerPoint, but I bought it. <laughs> like a couple. Not good of a salesperson, huh? huh? Yeah, you were. I was I on a it. challenge with you, and I was like, she made that so fast. And then I was like, I went and bought that one. But then I was like, but I don't do PowerPoint. <laughs> I have no Why clue. Why do I do this? <laughs> uh, I'm, so I need to buy it. the other that throws picks and bingo. Yes. Now yeah. I need to buy the other that throws picks. It does. It does Post a picks. good job. That's true. <laughs> it, it posts things in like a grid. Like you could be like, I want to do 
16 products in a in a grid and it'll do it but you have to like edit how far apart everything is and it's kind of clunky but it's probably much faster it's for sure much faster I used to just have that the power pack and I used to just copy my bingo card and then use the power pack to like shuffle the products <laughs> I used to do that and then I was messaging the the creator of Bearwood Labs. And I was like, I love this so much for creating bingo cards. And he's like, you should try the bingo generator because that's what it does. And I was like, I don't know. I really like what I'm doing. And he's like, why don't you just try it? And so I did. And I was like, this is way better. Thank you. It's way better. Way better. So yeah. Oh, that's funny. It is. I do it with you and mine takes longer. Oh, I see. All right. All right. I want to use PowerPoint more, but I've used Canva so long. It's faster. Plus most of my templates are in Canva. Yeah. Yeah, you can use you can use Canva. It's all right. Whatever makes you happy. It's okay. <laughs> but that's how it is. Like really, like I use PowerPoint because I'm more comfortable in it now right. than I am with Canva. But um before I used to just use Canva for everything and I loved it and I still love it. It still has a place in my heart and a place in my business. So like I don't think you should ever get rid of Canva, but I use no I would never get rid of Canva that's what I'm saying it's like we're it, gonna fight we're, gonna we're fight. not gonna fight I we are can't. going to fight I'm sorry I woke up and chose violence and I'm not meaning the violence towards you but here we are here we are <laughs> but here we are here we are <laughs> no way I pay for both exactly I'm a hybrid I use both depending on what I'm doing see me too I was also trying to convince Brandon that I need um uh Photoshop too He's like, well, just no. just wait because Affinity is going to come into yeah. play with Canva here pretty soon. Yeah, I do not don't I, I do not know what's going to happen. I don't so know. I don't know, but um, but you are a canvasser, a painter. Yeah, but they, you should know everything. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, you know it. Well, now tell us. Hey, I only I I I will probably be in line. For you know, when they finally tell us what's happening, yeah. But as far as now, um, I just give what they send me, and yeah, that's gonna be if they can get affinity into Canva, and that's I what, don't have to pay more for yeah. it, and I don't have to pay to use the affinity that I already have. Um, that'll be good. But if they turn it into like a come, um to put in play here soon but i think it's going to be a, a little bit more so, yeah 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 i don't i don't like the idea of them uh changing affinity from like a one-time purchase right. to a. I don't like that but right. if they do that then i think i'd rather pay them than pay adobe yes so there's yeah. that <laughs> i'd rather spend my money with canva because isn't yeah. canva run by a lady it is. It is. And she was turned down so many times. And, and yes, it her. is ran by a lady. So. so I will happily give her my money. Yeah. Over Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions? Um, we're going to wrap this up. And... At 11 11. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> um, I have one for Beth. Of course. Okay. Well, you know how I have a bunch of templates. I have one for like the spring break recap. It's a one page sheet where like little blocks that they're supposed to add. There's just not enough room. Could I technically turn that into like a, you said like do like five pages. There's more than five prompts. Can I do it like a full page and have them write it out that way? Just use it as an idea. Would that work? Yeah. 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 And you can I ask Chatty and you can make new ones too. Like if you have different prompts. Right. Uh, or if you want different prompts, you can ask Chatty like, hey, can you give me some prompts for a welcome back from spring break activity or writing activity? And then Chatty will. Yeah. I love Chatty. Yeah. You, yeah. Use those resources. Yeah. Use them. Yeah. Because I'm at the point now where I like, I'll have, I have gazillion templates but I use them as is. I'm like, no, no, that everybody does that. Do something, mm -hmm. use it as the go something mm -hmm. different. Yeah. 
yeah, use the pieces of it that you don't like creating. Like I love using like planner templates because I like taking like the circles that they do and that they have like lined up correctly. I like using those for other stuff, you know, <laughs> but like don't use the whole thing as is because everyone else who purchased it is most likely using it as is and you yeah. want to stand out. And That's right. Favorite. Most important thing. Yes. Most important. Yeah. All right, guys, anything else? And then next week, I think we I think we have a special guest. We have to find one. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> no way, because I have not heard anything about that. We need to see. I thought we had a list. I need to find sure that list. Somewhere. But we will have a guest for you next week. Can we get an official? Oh. No, okay. Uh, can we get an official? Where are we gonna find one of those? I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Do you? Do you know? Do you sound like you need a VA to get you organized? We tried. We tried, Lynn. We tried. Did I, I don't think you won't signed up for it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll we'll put the we'll put the Google the Google form out and you can fill it out. Be our VA and suffer immensely if that's what you would like yeah <laughs> you know well, uh, well we'll get it together well we're gonna find you guess we have we have ideas we have ideas we just have to ask we just don't have any solid plans that's all it's fine <laughs> well we have a plan we just need we do to they just don't the know plan. that they're part of our plan yet yeah right yeah right yeah yet Growth mindset. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, just don't be like us. Just That's don't be like us. Yeah. Just don't be like us. Or get a VA and then be as disorganized as you want. As long as they're organized. Ah, ah, no, and, no. And guess who's a VA? A guess who's a VA in here? It's not me because I'm the least organized person. Is it? It, it could be Lynn. Oh, oh, I have a suggestion for them hot seat day where you can help people brainstorm that oh that's a good idea that's a good idea listen take notes can you write this down can you write that down please I'll write this down VA. oh she disappeared oh. Lynn get this because we're like yeah we need a VA and she's like mm, okay. she disappeared camera oh. off okay nice. you're writing that down Thank you, Gina. Uh, Such an awesome idea. Add hot seat. That's a cool look. Oh, Nita says first. Me first. Oh. Oh, okay. How okay. many products do you have up, Nita? Do you know who you sound like? <laughs> I do. I have uh, none. <laughs> Right. No, I so, do have stuff like that's not um, published yet. Mm. I'm waiting on my artist. So, um, oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. But I can still go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. We, that's okay. That's a great idea. If we do not find a special, uh, special guest, guess what? It's going to be hot seat day. <laughs> We'll have to like make a, a form for that. We, we will have to make a form for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I will do that. 